summary conclusions and take away. I have tackled all of these topics. What is breast cancer? How common? Different types? Causes? Can, can they be prevented? Who are at higher risk? Behaviors? How does a breast cancer kill a patient? Is breast cancer curable? Take away in relation to patient management. Be always in touch with reliable medical information and fundamentals and generalities in breast cancer development. Okay. Knowledge is power. It gives power. Use the four Ks of patient empowerment, kalaman, kakayanan, karapatan, at kapangyarihan to prevent breast cancer. And in case it is not prevented, to gain greater control over problem solving, decision making in the medical management. So with that, I uh, end my pep talk, Fundamentals and Generalities in Breast Cancer Development. I hope I have empowered you to have an understanding, better understanding of the fundamentals and generalities in the development of breast cancer as a health disorder or medical disease. So before we go to the next portion of the program, which is the QA, question and answer, reminder, please take the online learning kung evaluation test exercise for mastery of learning and have a perfect score to get the certificate. Okay. And then reminder also 50 OLETE certificates equivalent to one voucher for a free medical consultation, telemedical. Okay, so let's now have a... Uh, group picture taking before we start the question and answer portion. Okay. Let's have page one. Okay, ready? One, one, two, three. Page two, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. So the floor is now open for questions, interactions, suggestions, comments, etc., etc. Okay. So, any questions? Are there? Ah, okay. So we'll have. Uh, Ready? Are there questions already? Not yet. Wala pang questions po. Okay. So while we're waiting for, you can ask your questions by raising your hands. Okay. Okay. Chuchi is raising his, her hands already. Chuchi, unmute yourself. Uh, yes. Unmute. Uh, okay. Unmute na ba? I, yeah. I, I, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you were saying that uh, those in remission, uh, more or less, the cancer cells are hiding. Can they hide? And how long can they hide? <laughs> when you say hiding, it's uh, it's somewhere there. Oh, cannot cannot when, see them. I mean, yeah, anywhere. We cannot, see them. we cannot detect them, even with the uh, best uh, diagnostic test. No? We cannot see them. No? Okay. So when you say hiding, no, we just use the word hiding. That uh -oh. unnoticed lang. Uh, it's there. Uh, no, it's not evident. It's not producing any uh, symptoms. It's not uh, showing its itself to us. Okay, because uh, because uh, probably of the limitation of the uh, diagnostic test. No, all diagnostic tests have limitations. Example, a. Uh, a breast ultrasound can only uh, detect a breast cancer which is one centimeter or bigger. If it's less than one centimeter, uh, 
uh, it's not very uh, reliable no so ganun din sa mga ct scan no if it's uh, less than 1 cm no usually it's it's hard to uh, it, it will be reported as negative no okay wala pero it's still there no okay but we don't really know when it's there or not yan ang tanong that's the problem no okay, okay. Uh, another ano uh, because sometimes when we have a bukol no like, like yeah. in in our, in my case i've had breast cancer twice already yes. during my lifetime uh, sometimes merong bukol somewhere but if it's not growing then it's not cancer you know is no. that uh, it, uh, okay I, so if it's a if, if there's a bukol you have to diagnose it right away whether it's cancer or not no? Okay. So the behavior, the uh, initial behavior, the behavior of a non-cancer and cancer might be the same initially. No? Sa umpisa. No? Magbagal. No? Magbagal lumaki. Steady lang siya. But the moment that tumor start uh, spreading to the lymph nodes, no? to the distant organs, that differentiate it now from the non-cancer. Okay. So, yeah. so so we distinguish uh, a book call uh, in terms of benign and malignant in terms of whether it uh, invades or it uh, spread. No? So initially, it might be difficult to uh, say which is which just based on the behavior. Okay. So the characteristics of the mass based on uh, physical examination by the doctors plus the signs no, will give the clue. So I'll give you an example. If uh, I think I've done this before, if there is a breast mass, okay, sabi mo bukol, no? breast mass. Let's just uh, focus on the breast. No? There is a breast mass which has been there for two years, no? okay, and then uh, you have to diagnose it right away, whether it's benign or malignant. You don't wait for it to uh, to uh, behave. Uh, I mean to look what will happen to that mass, whether it will grow bigger or not, okay? So, but at the time of the examination, if the buccal is already uh, cystic, parang may fluid, na, you can already say, oh, it's benign, na? Mm -hmm. okay? So, right away, it's benign, na? So, it doesn't go into uh, the behavior of a cancer. But if the mass is solid and then border niya, it's not so well defined because it's infiltrating the surrounding tissues. Now, you can now say that most likely it's cancer. Okay. Or if there is lymph nodes, accompanying lymph nodes on the axilla, then you can say that probable cancer neto. Okay. Higher chance. No? Okay. So you just, you don't wait for the uh, the behavior of the cancer to distinguish whether it's benign or malignant. No? Okay. Probably it, it can be done, but as you know, as a last priority. But you have to do the first priority first. Uh, the first priority is to uh, evaluate the mass, no? whether it's cancer or not. No? Okay. okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Who else? Meron pang Who else? questions, Who? Doc. Question from Evelyn Yu. Okay. How about how about PET scan? Hindi rin accurate? Question mark. Okay. So remember, okay. The general uh, rule to remember is not nothing is perfect in this world. Okay. Nothing is also perfect in medicine. Nothing is perfect in the medical test. Okay. Just like uh, this morning, I just read an article which I uh, posted in my Facebook because I've been telling you, uh, for those who are attending the pep talk, I've been emphasizing that medicine is, in a, is an inexact science, not perfect. So this morning, I was reading the uh, vaccines against COVID. So they, they put a statement there, okay, no vaccine is 100% effective. No? Okay. So... So just remember that general rule, nothing is perfect. No? Pet scan, kahit na yung pinakamahal, pinakamodern, is not perfect. No? Okay. 
I hope I, I uh, answer your question, Evelyn. Thank you for that question also because that's the most common perception of uh, especially, I can say, Filipino population. If they see something uh, being, pop, uh, being popularized, di ba? Sa sabi ng mga hospital, maganda ito, maganda ito, maganda ito. No? So you, you tend to, 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 uh, to kakagat naman kayo, di ba? Okay. So not knowing that there's also a limitation there. No? Okay, there's another question, Doc. Any more? From, from Chris N. Sabi niya, Hi, Doc. Is it true that cancer likes and eats sweets or sugar? Okay. Uh, is it true? Is it, uh, hi, Doc. This is from Chris N. Is it true that cancer likes and eats sweets does sugar? No, 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 no. Okay, that's not true. Sabi, sabi natin, the, the current state of knowledge is still gene mutation. Mm -hmm. Gene mutation. Ang ano, gene mutation. No? Okay. No. Yet then the end, that's the end point, no? gene mutation. What, how will cancer cause the gene mutation? Uh, the sweets, the sugar? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Most likely not. No? Okay. So, but, uh, but uh, again, as, a, uh, as I said, medicine, so in SAP, in exact, we don't know a lot of things. The best approach is to healthy lifestyle, okay? Eat anything, everything is poisonous to us, whatever we eat, whatever air we breathe, no? everything should be controlled, everything should be done in moderation, okay? So don't eat too much sweet, don't eat too much sugar, okay? So it's not only breast cancer that can be uh, be associated with excess this thing, not excess uh, food, no, but also other diseases. Okay, excess sugar, except sweet, no. Okay, it in moderation, na lang, huh? Okay. Okay. Anything another else? another question from Melly Mo. Doc, are two more markers accurate? and can be used as basis to detect cancer? Thanks, Doc. Okay, the same uh, answer that I uh, made for Evelyn, no? Okay, they are not 100% accurate all the time, okay? So uh, that's why we have to know what are the indications, okay? So can it be used as a basis to detect cancer? Okay, so... Um, we don't usually use tumor markers as a starter no? to detect tumor, to detect cancer. No? We, uh, we use other types of, uh, of uh, screening tests. Example, sa breast, no? you use mammography as a screening if you have to, use, uh, if you have to screen your breast. No? Now, if you want to screen a uh, liver cancer, then you can use a tumor marker, but uh, usually you can also use the, uh, the uh, ultrasound as a, as, a, uh, as a screening tool for, for detecting liver cancer. Okay. So, may mga pros and cons. No? You can use it. That's why I have sa acting ano, BRCA, Benefit, Risk, Cost, and Availability Analysis, put there the options. No, depending on the situation, which one are you after? What specific cancers are you uh, looking after, uh, uh, concerned with? And then you put down the list. Is tumor markers the best for this uh, cancer? Or is, or is there the ultrasound is better? Okay. Mammography is better. All these things. No? Okay. So I'm not saying that there's no place for tumor markers, but uh, at the moment, uh, it's not the uh, first priority. Okay. There are three questions in a row. Uh, okay. First, from Jeanette, you, what are the most common cancer causing chemicals that most people are not aware of? <clears throat> chemicals, 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 of course, are not aware of. 
yung mga secret secret yung mga nicotine that's also chemicals di ba okay so we're all aware of that <laughs> okay so what are the other kinds of cause chemicals at the moment i cannot really answer your questions there are a lot no okay so people are not aware of okay so ngayon Marami, marami dyan may potential. That's why I said uh, everything that we eat, everything that we breathe no, are potential for causing problems. No? So try to avoid them if you can. No? Okay. So eat in moderation and try to avoid them. No? Okay. Yan na lang ang rules I follow. Kasi may, mahirap sabihin na very specific Except for the smoking, di ba? Smoking, the nicotine there is uh, causing a lot of problems, okay? But for the others, chemicals, I cannot really pinpoint one uh, notorious one at the moment, no? Okay. Okay, Paul. Hanapin ko, hanapin ko, Jean, Jeanette, ma'am. Okay. Next question, Paul, from Jackie Tong. Apart from going for a breast ultrasound and mammogram, as a regular regimen for women, when we go for regular blood tests, are there any cancer markers we can test for? For example, CA125. Okay, mute. Lenny, Lenny. Okay, so okay. Let me answer it this way, Jackie. No? Okay. There are a lot of tests that you will be hearing, okay, in the literature, in the internet, and especially uh, and also those uh, promoting their businesses. Okay, but we all, we all always go by the guidelines, no? based on evidences. Okay. So if you're going to screen for breast cancer at the moment, no. Okay, aside from the uh, breast self-examination as part of the screening, screening for breast cancer and also the uh, physician examination is also, also another tool of uh, screening. And then the, in terms of uh, gadgets, no, at the moment, what is recommended is mammography only. No? Mammography, no? okay, because... Uh, there, are, there are evidences that shows that uh, it has improved the survival of patients with cancer. No? But uh, tumor markers are not being used. No? Okay. Are not being used. But of course, you can hear a lot of hospitals, clinics no? promoting that. No? Okay. CA125, because uh, the reason why they're not promoting that, because they're most of the time, uh, you won't be able to detect the uh, breast cancer using the tumor markers, especially in its early stage. No? Okay. Then this initiation I suggest. No? Okay. Okay. okay but next question from Evelyn Yu. If radiation can cause breast cancer, is it not safe to have annual chest x-ray for annual PE? How about dental x-rays? Does MRI produce radiation? Okay. So theoretically, as I said, theoretically, all of these are carcinogens, no? cancer-causing x-ray, no? during annual chest x-ray, dental x-ray, CT scan, okay, mammography, okay? Yeah, may maraming issues yeah, discussions, no? But we always, the thing to go by is we, we try to balance the benefit and the risk. The benefit and the risk of doing it, no? Suppose you really need a chest x-ray. Although there is a risk, but you need it. So you have to go for it, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the risk is there. As I said kanina, I have a, a slide kanina. Even though you have a risk, it doesn't mean that you're going to have it. Uh, in the low dose, low dose uh, uh, range that it's not really causing problem. Parang pag kumakain tayo yung, let's say, uh, something, yung mga pagkain, pag sumobra, no, 
So, mahirap na i-control. But if you eat a little, kahit na poisonous siya, it will be metabolized. It will just disappear. Di ba? Okay? It will be, be resolved. No? So, in dental x-ray, annual chest x-ray, usually, even mammography, they say that low dose lang naman yan. Eh. Low dose lang. So, no problem. No? Okay? But theoretically, it's possible that you can have, uh, especially yung mga patients with genetic predisposition to develop cancer caused by radiation as we as i said people are different may, may mga tao na konting x-ray lang baka cancer na okay okay but majority do not develop into uh, do not have this problem of cancer uh, coming out because of x-ray no? but if you keep on repeating uh, the x-rays okay then you you may get into trouble okay okay just to extend my my answer to this question uh, evelyn and uh, yung i'll be talking on thyroid cancer after this session no not not uh, we still have three sessions two sessions for breast cancer but after the breast we'll have we'll be talking on thyroid no so the uh, the um, risk factors for thyroid cancer is radiation to the neck. Okay, so in the past, then that's the most common uh, risk factor for thyroid cancer: radiation to the neck. Okay, so in the past, radiation has been used to treat tonsillitis, to treat acne, yung mga pimples, di ba? In the past, yon. Okay, so it has been shown that it has it can produce a lot of cancer on the thyroid. Na, kaya hindi na masyadong ginagawa yun. Na? Okay. Does MRI produce radiation? Usually hindi. They use magnetic resonance. Eh. Na? Okay. Usually hindi. It's CT scan ang meron. Na? Okay. 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 Another question po uh, from Belen Belet del Rosario. Doc, can radiation from television and mobile phones cause cancer? Okay. Possible, possible, possible. Kaya ano, kaya ano na, i-avoid lang natin. Ha? Okay. So yung mga sinasabi na charging, when you charge your mobile phone, huwag masyadong malapit sa'yo sa gabi, na ilayo ninyo. Okay. Then uh, yung mga, yung mga, tawag doon, o, what do you call that? What do you call that? When you cook oven or yung, forget the name, yung quick, quick heating, quick Microwave. heating, ano yan? Microwave. 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 Oh, microwave, di ba? Okay. So, maraming ano yan, may maraming uh, possible possibilities. So, try to avoid as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, another, uh, this is a comment from Maria Pustapolotan, some chemicals linked to cancer are talc. That is the main ingredient in talcum powder and asbestos that used to be found in sealing materials. Yeah, asbestos, tama, asbestos. Na? Okay, parami. Na? Okay, thank you for that. Na? Okay. So try to avoid. Doc, uh, yun pong kanina yung is ductal carcinoma the same as yung, meron kayo sinabing adenoid carcinoma? Pareho ductal, ba yun? Ductal and lobular carcinoma are usually ah, okay. Duct, yung ductal cells saka lobular cells are uh, what do you call that? I, we call that um, epithelial cells, no? Gland cells, okay. gland, not gland, not lining, not uh, connective tissue. No? So gland uh, cells of the gland, no? Ganon, secreting some something or epithelial for the uh, tube, yung lobules, yung isa lobules is a duct, di ba? Yung duct parang, parang, parang sang tube lang siya, eh, di ba? So lining yun, no? Mm -hmm. So it's not the, uh, what we call connective tissue, no? So ang lumalabas doon, it's a carcinoma, no? Okay. Uh, uh, and then if it's a 
it, it, if it arises from the lobules or from the uh, duct, lobules, those producing milk, di ba? So, pinaka, pinaka part of the breast producing milk, the ducts are the one which uh, channel the milk from the lobules to the outside, di ba? Okay. So this are, the cells there are the so-called epithelial cells, no? Okay. And then, so the uh, cancer arising from there is what we call adenocarcinoma. 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 Okay. Sometimes it can be squamous, no? But the most common is adenocarcinoma. And then those arising from the connective tissue, yung mga in between, the lobules, in between lobules and the ducts, you have the uh, blood, uh, you have the blood vessels, you have the uh, yung mga fats, you have the nerves, no? You know? Ang tawag doon, aray, cancer arising from there are usually called sarcomas. Sarcomas ang tawag doon. Thank you, Did Doc. Did I answer your question? Opo, Doc. You yes, Doc. Like yes, Doc. Doc, uh, another question. Paano po, paano niyo po malalaman na nag-recur ang, kasi sabi niyo kanina, um, pwedeng mag-recur sa breast and to other parts of the organs or body. So, uh, syempre, kaming on remission, we are on the guard then. Pero paano po namin malalaman kung nagre-recur, kung may recurrence? Okay. So we're now talking about surveillance, di ba? And, di ba? We have a course, in general, uh, yung last time cancer, di ba? We talk about surveillance, na? Surveillance for recurrence, na? So you can do surveillance based on symptom, sign, directed. Uh, pareho, uh, okay, okay. Or, okay. You can use the battery of tests if you want. Okay. Uh, screening test. Na? Okay. So, same principles na? for the breast. Okay. Because last time okay. I started the, uh, with the uh, cancer in general, di ba? I used the basic principles that have uh, that will be used for all types of cancer. Di ba? Okay. So, next week. Next week, uh, baka ne surveillance will be under next week, ba? Okay. Medical management of uh, breast cancer. Probably I'll be talking about it also. Na? Surveillance of uh, breast cancer in terms of recurrence. Na? So symptom-based, kung anong nararamdaman mo. Na? Okay. So basically, for those who have been attending my uh, telemedical conference, I usually ask them five questions based on symptoms. Pero kabang cough for for long period of time, let's say one month, no? So if you have cough, you start suspecting uh, spread to the lungs, okay? Now, if you have headache for one month or more, hindi nawawala, you suspect brain metastasis. Then if you have uh, bone pain for a long time, not the arthritis, then you suspect bone can metastasis to the bone. Then if you have pain on the right abdomen, upper abdomen, you suspect uh, liver metastasis. These are the most, di ba, sabi ko, these are the most common site of distant spread. Na? Bone, lungs, brain, and liver. Na? Then the other thing that you ask for, are there uh, bukol nakakapanyo elsewhere? Okay. Aside from the chest area, some breast area, are there bukol? that you are able to feel outside the breast area. If there's some bukol, it could, it could also be a cue for possible breast cancer. Okay. So kung during the examination, the answer is no. And then during the examination, the doctors do not find any mass, anything unusual. Then that means you don't have any clinical evidence of recurrence. Okay. Did I answer your questions? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, Doc. Uh, kung halimbawa po sa ano naman, sa ears, uh, walang alang ano yun. Parang, ears. opo. Parang may pressure sa ears, tapos sumasakit ang ulo. Is that a sign? Kaya? Oh, you, have, you have to investigate first kasi med medyo uh, malayo. But investigate first, baka there's a primary problem on the ear. But that opo. related to the uh, brain tumor. No? Okay. Yes, Doc. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Any more? There are, uh, there are more uh, 
another question ho sa chat box from Maria ano Maria Husta Pulot Pulotan modern led and LCD TV screens no longer emit radiation. The old cathode television sets gave off a small amount of radiation. Parang comment lang po. Then okay. from Alice Coronel, it's long years of breastfeeding can lead also to aggregate breast cancer. Breastfeeding? Uh, breast. Long Opo. years? Long years of breastfeeding. No, it has not been shown to uh, to cause uh, breast cancer with uh, breastfeeding. No, okay. it has not been shown. No, okay. So thank you for the uh, those comments that you mentioned, Maria Husta. Okay. So, kasi ako minimalist lang ako, simple tao lang ako. I don't know those details. No? Okay, but I just look at it this way. Any everything is uh, possible, a possible carcinogens. No? Okay, so I just uh, avoid excessive use, excessive exposure. No? Okay, but thank you for that information. Modern LED, LCD TV, seems no longer emit radiations. No? Okay, so let's wait for another few years. Baka may bago na masasabihin. May magsasabi, ay, it does, it, it emits, it causes cancer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So in the end, we just have to do some, everything in moderation. No? Be vigilant na lang. No? Okay. So it's, uh, wala na, it's 3.04. Okay. So before we, uh, okay. So what I want to really ask you is, uh, okay. Applying what we learned today. No. So, number one, what is breast cancer? No, no, no questions about it. No? Okay, everybody knows that. Okay, what is, kasi, ilan lang lalaki rito? Isa lang yata, dalawa. No? Okay, the rest are female. So, all, you, all of you have breast, so you know where your breast is. Okay, so breast cancer. Number two, how common? Okay, it's very common in the Philippines, but I cannot really say kung uh, natama ang kayo o hindi. No? Huh? Okay. Number three, um, what's the number three questions? The types? Okay. So, okay. How many? Okay. Quick lang na ito, Quick. I don't like to offend anybody. No? But this is just to correlate my, uh, my lecture. Can you, those who are not shy, can you just raise your hands? How many have breast cancer, history of breast cancer? How many have history of breast cancer? Ladies, can you count? Beth, can you count? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ay, iba ho, hindi naka, ano eh, naka video. Six lang ang nabilang ko. Okay. So, at, at least may six, di ba? Okay. So, nine. Nine. Okay. okay, okay lang. I want to go into the uh, nitty gritty part. Number two, okay, what is the type of cancer that you have? Okay, we talk about different types, di ba? Okay. So can you just type it on the chat box? Tingnan natin kung anong pinaka-majority. Do you remember your can breast cancer? What? Is it sarcoma, adenocarcinoma? Invasive ductal carcinoma. Ayan. Application na. <laughs> Practicum na ito ngayon. <laughs> okay. One answer, invasive ductal carcinoma. Invasive ductal carcinoma. Okay, dalawa na. Ano pa? Adenocarcinoma, okay. At na. Who else? Medullary carcinoma. Wow, okay. Medullary, okay. Nakita niyo, medullary ha, it's one special one. Adenocarcinoma, invasive ductal, background of Oh, 
Okay, I'll stop there. Huh? Okay, but you can see that uh, uh, you have to remember the type of your breast cancer. Huh? Okay, majority are adenocarcinoma rather than sarcoma. Okay, number two, uh, yung mga sarcoma, angiosarcoma, usually uh, hindi, hindi tumatagal yun. But yung mga phyloides, malignant phyloides, tumor, pudgets, disease, no? medyo tumat no? good prognosis yun. No? Okay. Pero majority, 90% are adenocarcinoma. Okay. And then the most common still invasive ductal carcinoma instead of invasive lobular carcinoma. Okay. Yan ang pinaka-common. Invasive ductal carcinoma. You have a special type like uh, isa dyan, medullary carcinoma, tubular carcinoma. Usually, good prognosis din yun, na Good prognosis. Tubular, papillary, medullary. Na? Usually, good prognosis. Okay? So, let's now go to the... Um, how many are ER? We talk about ER, ER PR negative, right? Are you... Are, are you Aware of your of your status, ERPR? <laughs> ah, sige. Tatandaan ninyo, ha? Going, you go back to that uh, your records, no? Okay, look at your PR, ER status, okay? So in general, I'll jump the gun on for next, kasi I think I'll discuss this next time, pero ER, PR positive, good prognosis. Okay, compared to ER, PR negative. No? Magandang prognosis. Mas maganda. Okay? No, para, pero no guarantee. No? HER2, new, HER2, HER2 positive, pangit. No? Okay? Mas, mas pangit. No? Okay? So that's why yung ER, PR kung positive, they give you hormonal therapy. Okay? Now, for the HER2 new, they give you trastuzumab. No? which which costs uh, a million pesos no but, but, uh, mahal yon no? okay then triple negative triple negative ERPR sa uh, her to uh, new pas negative triple negative pangit din ang prognosis that's why they have to undergo chemotherapy okay ERPR her to positive okay and then so all of you, okay, in terms of uh, risk factors, have you identified your risk factors? Mahirap, no? Na identify nyo what 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 led you, what uh, caused your breast cancer? Meron? Who will venture to say that I have identified? the cause of my breast cancer. So it, okay, too cheap. Uh, it's genetic, mine is in the family history. Family it's history, okay. Uh -huh. so, but not the, uh, but not the uh, gene, the inherited gene, huh? okay. Iba yon, huh? family history, okay. So even that family history does not mean that, if you have a family history of breast cancer, does not always mean that you will have breast cancer. Yeah, but know. but you know, uh, I there there are I don't know how many cousins, first cousins of mine, because it's I think it started from my grandmother, uh, who had breast cancer and she died of breast cancer, but the second generation, her children did not have. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. third generation that all of us, all the children in the third generation, had. In my case, I had it twice. After 30, 36 or 37 years. So very strong, young history. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so family history, kasi maraming uh, variation in family history in terms of intensity, no? Okay, number one, if you have one family member who has breast cancer, medyo, mahi, medyo merong risk factor, may risk, no? Pero mas mahina compared to, let's say, two, one mother, one sister who had breast cancer, then most likely you, higher and risk mo. No? Okay. So in terms of generation also, kung maraming every generation meron, I think mm -hmm. mas mataas. No? Okay. But the exact cause, the exact uh, well, prediction whether one will have breast cancer, even despite the family history, it's, 
again, it's not absolutely certain. No? Okay. So in the end, uh, just uh, hope for the best no? and be on the lookout. No? Nobody can predict. No? Okay. So genetic uh, families. How about other causes? Have you identified obesity? Malakas kay kumain? Ah, okay. Sinisisi niyo sarili ninyo? Malakas kay kumain? Malakas kay uminom? <laughs> okay. 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 So, uh, in terms of, all of you have, all of you, I think, uh, Majority of you have 10, marami dito, ay nakikita ko, mga 5 years at least, di ba? Marami dyan, na? Okay. So that's a good prognosis, na? Okay. Any more questions before we call it a day? The rides, meron pa. Wala, wala na. At least, ay. Okay, let's call it today. So we, if, we, if we have additional questions, you just ask me through the uh, Facebook or through the uh, Viber. No? Okay, so it's 3.14. So next, uh, when is next Saturday, we will have uh, breast cancer again, but this time medical management. No? Ngayon is the uh, breast cancer development. No? Next time it will breast cancer medical management from the physician's point of view. So again, I will divide it into two parts because it's eh, diba? Okay. So first part, part one, and part two. No? Okay. So if there are no more questions, let's call it a day. Thank you. Oh, sandali. Meron ba akong ano? Do I have a toy? Okay. Can you try answering this one? Let me see it before you leave. Yes, Doc. Okay, 